for today's video, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Simplify 4th root of 89 plus 28 times square root of 10 in the form of square root of A plus square root of B. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer and solution to the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So our goal in this question is to simplify 4th root of 89 plus 28 times square root of 10 in the form of square root of A plus square root of B. Now, one way to answer is like this. So the first one is if we can rewrite the expression inside the 4th root in the form n plus m times square root of 10 raised to the power of 2, we can simplify this because 2 is a multiple of 4. If we cancel out, this is just square root of n plus m times square root of 10. So that's the goal. That's the plan. We need to rewrite 89 plus 28 times square root of 10 in the form of n plus m times square root of 10 raised to the power of 2. All right. So here's the process to do that. First, we have 89 plus 28 times square root of 10. And for us, to make this in the form n plus m times square root of 10 raised to the power of 2, we need to use this concept. So perfect squared trinomial. If we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, we can factor this out nicely as x plus y raised to the power of 2. Notice we have two terms, but here we have a perfect squared trinomial. So we will do that later on. Now, this 28 times square root of 10, this 28, we can factor this out as 2 times 14. So 2 times 14 times square root of 10 may be the middle term of this perfect square trinomial. And also, we want here a perfect square and a multiple of 10. Why multiple of 10? Because we have square root of 10. And the only perfect square and the multiple of 10 that adds up to 89 is just 49 and 40. 1 uh, and 88 is not... 88 is not a multiple of 40. When we use 4 and 85, 85 is not a multiple of 10, so we cannot use those perfect square, except for 49 and 40. All right, so now let's focus on this result. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit. And take note, 49 is just 7 squared. And 40, if we square this and get the square root, we have 2 times square root of 10 raised to the power of 2. If we square this, 2 times is 4, then square root of 10 times square root of 10 is 10, so 4 times 10 is 40. So we'll end up with 40 again. Therefore, we have we found x as 7 and 2 times square root of 10 as y. Therefore, the middle term, we can factor this 14 as 7 times 2. So we have here x, 7. We have here y, 2 times square root of 10. Therefore, we can factor this out nicely as 7 plus 2 times square root of 10 raised to the power of 2, meaning n equals 7 and m equals 2. So we can replace n with 7 and m with 2, like this. Also, we can simplify the right-hand side as follows. So we have square root of 7 plus 2 times square root of 10. So we have 2 cancel out, then we end up with 2. All right. Therefore, the new equivalent of 4th root of 89 plus 28 times square root of 10 is 7 square root of 7 plus 2 times square root of 10. But the goal is square root of A plus square root of B. Alright, so if we can rewrite this expression 7 plus 2 times square root of 10 in the form of square root of A plus square root of B quantity squared, then we can cancel out square root and squared, and we end up with square root of a plus square root of b. So let's get this expression, 7 plus 2 times square root of 10. Now this is easy because we have square root of 10, and we know square root of 10 is, I mean 10 is 2 times 5. So we can break this 7 as 2 and 5. Now rearrange some terms a little bit. This 2, we can rewrite this as square root of 2 raised to the power of 2, and this 5 is square root of 5 raised to the power of 2. Now, let's focus on this 
expression because we know already that 10 is 2 times 5. So we can rewrite this as square root of 2 times square root of 5. So we found x here, the new x is square root of 2 and y is square root of 5. Therefore, we can factor this out nicely as square root of 2 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2. Therefore, a is 2 and b equals 5. So we can replace a with 2 and b, 5. Also, we can cancel out the square root and the squared, so we end up with square root of 2 plus square root of 5. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the equivalent of fourth root of 89 plus 28 times square root of 10. And this is our answer to this question. And as always, we are done.